Nvidia released their new 4080 Super card this month. And seeing how it's BYO month, or build your own month here at Micro Center, we figured we would do a build featuring our 4080 Super. At the center of this build is going to be our Intel bundle. Now this bundle is going to have the i7-13700K CPU. It's also going to have the Asus Z790P motherboard and 32 gigs of DDR5-6000 RAM from G-Skill. Now I'm going to put all of this into this Lianli O11 Vision case. The funny thing about this case is this is actually a display unit, so you can see it has a fake motherboard and a fake GPU in there. So I actually have to rip that out so I could put all of this in there. This case looks really nice, by the way. It's got the glass on the top and on the side, and it's also got glass on the front, so you get that full fishbowl effect. And since it's gonna be a display piece and you're gonna see inside pretty well, I figured might as well go all out and we'll replace the AIO that came with this with the Galahad 2 LCD. Now this one's gonna have an LCD screen right on the AIO that mounts on the CPU. But to go with that as well, we have the Unifans with the LCD screens. So basically I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different monitors inside this case that you're gonna be able to see. And we're gonna put whatever we want on those little screens. To go with that, we're gonna have this two terabyte Western Digital Black NVMe SSD. That's gonna house our operating system, which is gonna be Windows 11. And then we have our 850 watt gold Asus modular power supply. So everything's here, we're ready to go. Let's get into the build. So like all of our builds, I'm gonna start this one on the motherboard box itself. Got the CPU open, we're gonna take this out. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this lever, push it down. Okay, so there we have our socket. Now this is LGA 1700, so all of the pins are on the motherboard. Notches on the top and bottom that line up, and there's a little triangle in the corner. Bring it down, give it a little wiggle, and it's good to go. You just push this right on top. That'll pop off. I'm gonna save that for later in case we ever gotta cover the motherboard socket. CPU is installed. Undo the screws here. So this is gonna pop right off. I'm gonna screw the riser in here. So now the SSD is just gonna go right into the slot at an angle. It's gonna hold up there. We just press it down and we're gonna screw that into place. I'm gonna remove the plastic cover for the thermal pad. All right, and then we have these two little risers here. So the screws are just gonna match up. So this one has little latches at the top. The bottom latches are static. And what I like is that most motherboards, they have these markings here. So it says A1, A2, B1, B2. And it actually shows which slot you should do if you're gonna do two uh, sticks. So it says which one should you put in first. So that's gonna be A2 and B2, and they're even marked gray. There's a little notch here, and this notch is gonna be off center. So you always wanna make sure you double and triple check which way it's going. Definitely going that way. So this is just gonna slide in. Press it down, you're gonna get a little click, slide down, and you got your little click, and that one's all set. Now, here's a big one that I need to point out is that the plate for the I.O. is not attached on this motherboard. Just remember, whenever you're taking these glass panels and you're putting them somewhere, put them somewhere safe, somewhere soft, no tile floors or tile surfaces. If you have an island with tile, that's gonna scratch it, cause it to crack instantly. You don't want that to happen. I need this to run for real, so I gotta take all this stuff out first. That's actually really nice to work around. So before we put the motherboard in, I am going to get the mounting plate. This is the mounting bracket for the AIO, so you wanna make sure you get this on the motherboard first before you go in there, especially because you can see there's no way of putting it on once the motherboard's mounted. All right, so I have the IO shield in place. I snapped it into the back here, so that's all set. Now this is the mounting bracket for the AIO. I have that inserted into this guy. So now I'm doing, just gonna get the motherboard lined up. Cool, and we're all set on there pretty good. I have to take the fans that came with this unit because I wanna replace them with the LCD fans because why not, right? It's gonna look pretty cool. I just have to take these screws out. So the air is gonna come up from the bottom come that way, it's gonna go through the AIO, and this is also an exhaust, so it's gonna go that way as well. So that GPU is still gonna get enough air, and then this is gonna pull the air out that way, this is gonna pull the air out that way, so that's gonna work out just fine. I'm gonna set up these reverse fans in a little bit, but right now I'm gonna set up the AIO. 
so this is the connector that I'm going to have point downward. These are already connected because I had these running on the test bench because I wanted to run it. This is actually the LCD Galahad I have on the test bench here because I just want to try it out. But now I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to put it in this system. So these are already clicked together. This is the connector here. So I'm going to have it at the bottom. So it's going to go out nice and clean. All right, cool. I always like to start with the corners first. It'll be easier for all the other screw holes to line up nice and easy. So I have the screws from when I took the AIO off before, so I'm just gonna screw this back into place. So while I'm screwing this radiator in, just remember that since it's BYO month here at Micro Center, we are running a special deal with our Micro Center Insider credit card, where if you sign up or if you already have one, you can get 10% off of your entire purchase or you could do 24 months of special financing, and that's only during BYO month. So if you buy a desktop or a processor or a television, you can add things on to your purchase and you will get 10% off your entire purchase price. Not to mention during BYO month, we're also gonna have sales on a lot of things. So it's a pretty good time to get yourself either a new PC, a new television, treat yourself, you know? All right, AIO is in place, everything's all set up. Let's start running some cables. So first I'm gonna take these CPU power cables and it's gonna be labeled which side's going to the power supply and which side's going to the CPU. So this one's going to the CPU here and we've got eight pins that we're gonna plug in. There's an additional four pins as well. So I'm gonna plug that in and the CPU portion of this cable does split. So you can just take that, it'll split right open, and then you can line this up and it goes right in. Same thing for the motherboard power. So this is the one with the extra four pin that I'm not using. So I'm actually just gonna tie this to the cable to keep it out of the way. Actually, gonna remove the motherboard power that I put because this came with some working strimmers. Yeah, that's gonna look real nice. So on the strimmers, I'm gonna run the cable to this guy. And then this one's gonna be for the GPU side. So I'm actually gonna run this ahead of time now. Then I've got our 12 volt high power cable. So what I like to do is I like to connect everything to the power supply first. And motherboard's gonna be in two parts. SATA power cables. Looks like a mess now, but it's gonna look real pretty real soon. So now I'm gonna lock this guy down now. I like that this case has a unified front panel connector. So this one's super, super easy. You just see the blank one here and you're just gonna match it up right down here. And you're all set. HD audio, that's another simple one. This one's also got a blanked out pin. So that one's just gonna match out. So this one's gonna be our USB 3.0. That's gonna plug in right there. Those are both real easy. I'm gonna get the AIO on the CPU and this actually has the thermal paste pre-applied. So there's nothing to do really, it's all set. All you have to do is make sure you put this on. Now the orientation for this, you should have the tubes on the bottom here and this port, this USB-C port, which is gonna be for the LCD screen, you're gonna want that on the right side. So I have the bracket here, it's in place. So I'm just gonna place this guy right on top. And there's two sets of screws that come with this, uh, some with dots and some without. And this is an LGA 1700, so you wanna make sure you're using the one without the dots. All four screws in place, I have it a little bit loose right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten in kind of a star pattern going from corner to corner. And we've got the AIO pump connector right up here. So I'm just gonna plug that right in. Gonna insert the USB-C cable. Make sure it's in there real good. You gotta make sure you feel a click. If you have any issues with the LCD not showing up or anything like that, just try unplugging and plugging the USB-C cable back in. That's been the biggest fix for this, really. This is gonna run down and around to the bottom to a USB port on the board. So I'm just gonna patch that through here. And we have this little connector that's gonna go in. Let's get 
the USB running around, let's get the controller in, and then we're gonna get these bottom fans laid out. All right, so I had to make a couple of modifications to this. I had to take these strimmers out because I did not have enough USB headers for the strimmers and everything else. I needed, the AIO has its own USB cable, so that's for the screen on the AIO. And then the controller for all of the screens for the fans also had its own USB connection. So I ran out of USBs and couldn't get the strimmers in there. I'll get a cable and a splitter and I'll put it in later. But for now, let's just get this guy going. I'm gonna put the 4080 Super into here and I've got the two slots open already. So I'm just gonna run this right in. So you just push it in, line it up. And there you have it. I've got the screws we'll go in the back here. So I get these screwed into place and I pre-ran the power cables. So the power cable is just dangling underneath here. So I could just run this guy right in, plug it in. And there we have it. I got basically everything in place. So I'm gonna clean up the space a little bit, but before I close this case, I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna make sure that this posts and that everything is all good with that. Hey, that's always a good sign, huh? All right, so I let this run overnight and I got Windows installed and everything is set up. I gotta say, I really like the look of this one. This build came out really well. So I swapped out the fans on the bottom and I basically swapped these fans here and I added one more fan down here. So we have these RGB fans going here. All in all, I think this looks really solid and I like this O11 vision case a lot. So remember our Intel bundle was the center of this build and that is the i7-13700K with 32 gigabytes of G-Skills DDR5-6000 RAM. And then we have this Asus Z790P board. You can get all three of these bundled together for 549 for BYO month, which is right now, February, 2024. And we paired it with this NVIDIA 4080 Super and a bunch of other goodies. Remember, you can fit a bunch of extra SSDs or two 3.5 inch hard drives in this guy as well. So not only is this a really good gaming PC, but this is also a very good content creation PC. If you do any video editing or anything like that, 16 gigs of GDDR6X VRAM plus the 32 gigs of RAM and everything else. I mean, you're gonna do pretty fine with this machine. BYO month at Micro Center. If you use your Micro Center Insider card, you can get 10% off of your total purchase if you get a CPU, a desktop, or a television, and you can add on to that purchase. So the more you add, the more you save. Or you can get 24 months of special financing. Remember, come down to Micro Center and check us out. And if you don't have a Micro Center near you, make sure you comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me. There's a forklift, forklift, forklift.